Rescue Act. Yes, I'm here with uh, KingCast.net Mortgage Movies. I'm with attorney Wendy Ellison Nora, and she's making a comment today. Uh, attorney Nora, what do you have to say about the events, and what do you think uh, should uh, be first and foremost in the Commission's mind? Well, I think the Commission needs to look at what the existing law requires and make sure that the existing law has been complied with rather than change the law in order to justify years of non-compliance with the law through mortgage electronic registration systems and various other devices that are used to conceal the identity of the parties making claims to our homes. Right. As Ms. Pooley suggested, uh, I have experience as an attorney in this area. I was an escrow attorney 10 years ago, and during that time period, I had no idea of the fraud, the deceit, and the corruption that was involved in the mortgage industry. That's why I created Mortgage Movies Journal. You can Google that, you'll find it. And I also have a affordable video deposition also. That's affordablevideodepo.com to uh, show the depositions of some of these banksters and their attorneys when they're under oath and to see how they really represent what they're doing so that uh, we can be a more informed public. And with that, I'll turn the program back over. Thank you. We are protesting today and rallying today specifically because of the Home Foreclosure Procedures Act. A group of non-elected attorneys are meeting in the West End today. Their, um, their membership is uh, mainly 75% uh, bank attorneys. Also, um, Bob Ferguson, our AG, he has the power right now to shut down half of the foreclosures. Quality Loan Service Corporation of Washington has currently a preliminary injunction barring them from violating their duty of good faith. A judge in Snohomish County just ruled that Quality Loan Service Corporation of Washington has violated their duty of good faith again, and um, Bob Ferguson has done nothing. I wish you all would encourage him to uh, shut down this unlawful trustee. who have uh, uh, been very active in our deliberations and whose views I thought would be informative to the floor. Uh, the first of them is uh, Larry Platt, who's a partner at KNL Gates. Uh, Larry is counsel uh, to the uh, uh, so-called Securities Industries and Financial Markets Association called SIFMA. They're the uh, principal, as I understand, principal private securitization group. Since I started covering this event with the excellent Deadly Clear Journal, I have noted some confusion as to who really ran the rally, but the excellent Huff Post coverage by industry writer Joel Sucher makes it all clear, and you need to really go to the linked Mortgage Movies post to read about it, but it's clearly uh, Karen Pooley. She did the yeoman's work, and I helped on permitting, while Senate candidate Michelle Darnell and attorney Wendy Allison Nora had a strong presence, uh, with Senate candidate Jeff Spear commenting as well. We need to strengthen the Washington State Foreclosure Fairness Act mediation program. Yes. We need funding for education of the mediators and more authority given to the mediators to issue bad faith certificates where there is bank malfeasance. These mediators need to know what a, what a net present value analysis is. And when Wells Fargo presents one and is missing 10 out of the 37 inputs, that's a problem. We cannot kick people out of their homes based on reading tea leaves in the back room. Yeah. The yeah. beneficiary declaration often is not worth the paper it's written on. We need our mediators to be able to identify that. The Home Foreclosure Procedures Act will create a new class of proceedings just to cover up the fact that these mortgages cannot be proved. And um, they've, they've avoided paying all these fees. I mean, we've got audits 
out of Essex County, John O'Brien, performed the Nautic um, out of San Francisco. Um, found one this morning. Um, I mean, just overall across the country, there's a lot of litigation that started happening. These well, counties course. are realizing that they've lost millions and millions of dollars as a consequence of, of them avoiding the recording fees. Of course, and further, that's, that, that's the case out with Nancy Becker's case out there in Montgomery County in Pennsylvania, yeah, Pennsylvania where she won. That's the one I wanted to cite. mentioned you in his opening remarks and he said that he would take homeowners considerations into account oh we're in I mean I could have stayed but they're, they're gonna oh, observe for a while gonna stay? they're gonna observe for a little while oh yeah okay that you want us to stay I don't know I didn't get a word from her she'll come okay. down and check on you though I hope so. okay I'll go, I'll go ask her. Thanks, all right indeed oh, how are you Good. okay hon you. you too yeah. I'm gonna go find out what... gentlemen take care now yep citizen in this state and further in this country and I would argue in the world. I had a gentleman in South Africa who told me when America sneezes we catch the flu. 